Welcome back to LaSalle and welcome to our new Explorers. Uh, hi, my name is Hector Guerra. And I'm Max Kratoff. This is the week of September 12th. Our big story this week is officially um, welcoming our new Explorers. Here's the sight and sounds of that day. Bring some new changes to the schedule. Here's Aiden and Mr. Whitney talking about them. Hi, I'm Aiden Latendra. We're here with Mr. Whitney. Mr. Whitney, how are you? Doing well, Aiden. How are you? I'm good. Uh, can you elaborate on community time? Uh, how it can benefit students? Absolutely. So, community time ultimately is a, is a new feature of our schedule this year. Um, where you know, after looking at last year's schedule change, we collected a lot of feedback, and as part of that feedback, we heard a lot from students and from our teachers. And really time is, is a precious resource for us here at school. So we're always trying to figure out how can we um, maximize the student's experience with the time that we have during the school day. It's hard to add time to the end of the day because of athletics um, and all the different extracurriculars that take place after school. So during this community hour, um, our aim for students and really the benefit for students really falls around, number one, them being able to pursue like interests and passions outside of the classroom setting. As you guys know, like education is so much more than just like the content you learn in your history class or your math class. It extends well beyond that into your personal interests and things that are in the real world. So it'll give students an opportunity uh, to participate and explore different interests and passions during the school day. Uh, second, it eliminates conflicts that students often encounter. Students who are athletes or who want to be involved in multiple activities, they can't do that after school because they have one and they often have to choose between the other. So by offering it during the school day and also having a calendar for when these different clubs meet, that's going to allow uh, multiple students to potentially be involved in multiple clubs and activities. Third benefit um, that we envision with the community time during the school day is that um, you know, ultimately you know, the pressures of academics, for instance, for students is, is really great. You know, we have many students who are challenging themselves, taking very rigorous schedules in preparation for their college applications. And, you know, given the pressures of the academic environment, we feel it'll be beneficial for students to have time to unwind, you know, to, again, have a little bit more fun engage in physical activity like intramurals and things like that. So really, you know, in, in sort of providing this time during the day, it's a break to, to the frenetic pace of the day, but it also benefits students academically because in that break, it allows the brain to refresh and the body to heal a little bit. And as we know, you know, we go through six, seven, eight subjects a day. It's nice to have that break on an X day where you only have half of your subjects, half of your classes, but now you're also exploring maybe some of these personal interests, and we really think it'll benefit students in the classroom as well. There are all equal benefits for our faculty. You know, as, as many of our students know, like our faculty are very talented. You know, they're passionate and subject experts in the classes that they teach, but they also bring so many, uh, so many different other abilities uh, that would benefit students, and they have their own personal interests and passions as well. So you may have a history teacher who plays an instrument, or you know you may have a language teacher who's really passionate about like envir the environment. Um, so it's an opportunity for our teachers also to engage students and meet students in different places outside of their classrooms and to explore the interests they have. Thank you, Mr. Whitney. You're welcome. Anytime. All right. Thank you, guys. Here's a look at the upcoming Letter Day schedule. This schedule is available every day on the Daily Bulletin. Make sure to stop by uh, the activity fair Wednesday, uh, community period. There's always a club for someone. So this is a video about clubs here at LaSalle. 
LaSalle has 100% given me the opportunity to explore anything I wanted. They have opportunities for people who like to act. They have opportunities for athletes. There's freshmen, JV, and even intramural. They want you to get involved in as much activities as you can. Service is a huge thing here. They provide lots of service activities. Freshman year, it was actually pretty easy to get involved because they promote activities with freshman mentors in your homeroom. The way LaSalle's networked, it just, it's really easy to get involved here. I think LaSalle offers so much that you can do, it really pushes you to stretch your boundaries and kind of go out of the box. And I've really thrived here in doing everything that I've, I'm really passionate about. Students are the core of the school. Everything that LaSalle encompasses is for their benefit and for their interest, and I think that is really is what, is what sets apart LaSalle from other schools. The thing that brought me to LaSalle was just the community, how everyone was really like involved with everything at the school from sports to academics and music and technology. You know, you build strong relationships through clubs, sports, athletics, just overall interaction. I think LaSalle has, you know, a lot of interaction going on every day. There's so many activities. You meet new people. The main thing that's probably kind of set LaSalle apart for me is the friendships that are formed here at school every day. On sports teams, whether it's in the classroom or on service trips that they offer here, um, there's always kind of a special brotherhood that's formed in any situation you're in, which is really awesome. I definitely think that the spirit of LaSalle helps you perform to your best abilities because it's easiest to perform when you realize that the people around you want to see you succeed and they're also striving to succeed with you. Being here at LaSalle definitely has allowed me to go beyond what I thought were my limits. If you're on the fence about coming to LaSalle, I recommend that you shadow in either 7th grade or 8th grade. It gives you a really good feel of the school. That's what I did and it made my decision easy. I love this place. It's like a second home to me. I love being there every day. Basically each club is their own little community that you just get to explore and really have a good time. It gives you wide ranges of opportunities and coming in as a ninth grader, you don't know what those opportunities are. You don't know what you're going to be interested in over the next four years, but you can go and try new things at LaSalle um, and do the things that you like and kind of branch out from there. Now is the time for the sports report. Over to Luke Santangelo. What's up LaSalle, I'm Luke Santangelo with this fall sports report. In soccer, LaSalle went on to beat Bonner 1-0 with the goal scored by Chris Metzler. They went on to beat Lanzo Catholic 2-1 to make them 2-0 in, in the PCL play. This Saturday's LaSalle homecoming game at 7 o'clock against Haverford. Also on September 16th is the 7th annual Hall of Athletics. It now is here Connor Curran with Coach Bilecki. So I'm here with Mr. Bilecki, head coach of LaSalle Cross Country and Track. How's it going? Thanks, Connor. Appreciate it. Uh, so just give us the rundown of the schedule this year. Uh, sure. What do you what to expect? Sure. Yeah. So I mean, unfortunately, we had our first Catholic League regular season meet yesterday canceled. Uh, but starting next Wednesday, we have a meet every Wednesday for five straight weeks for the entire team, and then. Uh, next Saturday, September 15th, we have our first Invitational down at Belmont Plateau, the Briarwood Invitational. And we have an Invitational every other weekend. So Briarwood Invitational, and they kind of get bigger uh, in terms of number of competitors and level of competition. So the Briarwood one will be a great one for us to start with. Then two weeks later, the last weekend, September, we'll go out to Carlisle High School and compete in the Carlisle Invitational, which is a pretty big one in Pennsylvania. And then two weeks later, We'll go up to Van Cortland Park in New York City and run in the Eastern State Championship, which is pretty much the biggest invitation on the East Coast during the year. But we'll see some really, really good competition. I mean, you know, we'll be very, very hard pressed even to mix up for the win at that one. That'll be, uh, you know, that'll be, and, and that's become a great preparation for us in terms of getting ready for postseason. And then the weekend after that is starts the postseason Catholic League Champs, District Championship, and then State Championships the first weekend in November. Nice. So, uh, new track, what's the update with that? So supposedly going in starting this week, either uh, this afternoon or, or tomorrow, the timeline is, is roughly two weeks, and then once it's down, you know, to be able to be used. So track guys that don't run cross country that'll be, you know, doing fall workout program, uh, will get on there. We will get on there on occasion. You know, there's a couple of workouts that we do during the fall where I'd like them to run a little bit faster and like to be able to kind of see the whole thing right in front of me. So probably two times in the fall, we'll get on there uh, and sort of test it out, see what it feels like. Uh, we're really excited about the new facility. You know, I know these guys are uh, 
really looking forward to getting on there and see what it feels like. Nice. And uh, a lot of success last season, the state champs. Yep. Uh, what are the goals for this year? You know, I mean, it was great that we won a state championship last year, but I, I think our goals remain the same. You know, control the things that we can control. And at the end of the day, the only things that we can control are our attitude. All right. Thank you, Mr. Lucky. Appreciate it. Good luck on the season. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Don't miss the homecoming dance this Friday, the 14th. And don't miss the homecoming game the next day. All right, LaSalle, that's all the news we have for this week. I'm Max Kratoff. And I'm Hector Guerra, and thanks for tuning in.